guys, good morning. Today we have sort of a travel vlog. So we're driving 10 hours today from Barcelona to Angers, which is a little town that is very close to Paris. And we're basically going to see two possible wedding venues that we have in mind. Right now, we just decided for a very beautiful chateau, but we want to see it in person before we give the down payment. And right now we have two options. So hopefully I'm gonna show them to you. We are right now six hours away. We're charging gas. I'm honestly not even sure if we're gonna stop for lunch because I just want to arrive to the hotel i'm so in shock that we're already sort of like starting all this process and planning everything i think the first thing that we wanted to do was have the venue once we have the venue we're gonna know like the date we're gonna start sending the invites and planning and everything so i am very very excited i only brought one bag with me which is my birkin 25 in gold Sheesh. very expensive guessing friends <laughs> We're finally here. Yes! <laughs> it ended up being like 11 hours. Yeah, with all the stops. So we're gonna go check in at the hotel and probably go to have something for dinner because we didn't eat today. Mm -hmm. So we took a very short nap. I am quite tired. We ended up driving like 11 hours. We had to stop for coffee about three times. We didn't get to eat, so we want to go out right now for dinner. I do not think that we chose the hotel wisely because it's very far from pretty much everything, but we're gonna discover the city probably on Sunday because tomorrow we're gonna go and see the two chateaus or castles, like little castles. So a little bit why we decided to actually look into the north of France rather than Italy was basically because because Italy was very expensive and it was more like an eight hour type of thing. So you would book the venue for eight hours and you would stay at a hotel or something like that instead of making it like a few hours and just like a big full wedding. We want something that's a little bit like smaller with the people that we love and that it's like a few days to kind of celebrate it because of course we don't see our family often. So we do want to make it like, I don't know, something different. We had to leave Masha with a dog nanny because we didn't know how complicated it was going to get coming with her. So today is Friday and hopefully we're gonna have dinner and we'll see you tomorrow to show you everything We are not working and we just want to like have good food walk around and possibly I, I really think that one of the ones that we're gonna see tomorrow is the one that we're gonna go for And if not if this doesn't work out and we don't like any of this it's just gonna be like a cute weekend trip And we're gonna go look at Italy, but we cannot do like a whole road trip for France and Italy So let's see how it goes Good morning, today is Saturday and we are driving to go see the first one. Last night we were way too tired, we just had dinner and went straight to bed. After 11 hours of driving, we didn't even want to tourist around at all, but supposedly today the sun is going to come out. The first castle is a 30 minutes drive from here and after this one we have the second castle at like 2 p.m. So we're probably going to go see it, grab something to eat or eat before. We're going to see, we want to see like the countryside and not just stay in the city, but it's already quite green here, so it's way better i'm really excited before we left Angers, we went for some coffee and in case it rains i did bring my beanie it is as i said very very cold kind of matches with the sweater so we stopped to charge some gas what we are sort of looking for it's like a pet friendly place that can house around 30 to 40 people overall and if there's like 20 25 people it's fine because the rest can stay no problem at a hotel but one of them has a very very beautiful lake and it has its own boats it feels sort of weird vlogging all of this i don't know if anyone else is gonna be wanting to plan a wedding and want some information on new things or just getting inspiration i think it's fun and most out of everything i think having the venue is gonna help us like relax a little bit and then we have time to sort everything else out this is what had us worried the most as everyone keeps telling us it's the most important thing that you need to have more than a year before the date it's gonna be like so relaxing because we can just stop worrying about like immediately what we're gonna do with the wedding and i think here is the perfect venue 
I mean, well, you, you cannot see it, but this is like the countryside is really beautiful. Everything is green. And imagine just like having this little castle in the middle of nowhere. It's gonna be really, really nice. Are you excited about the wine tasting and possibly Yeah, coffee? also this region is very well known for their wine. Yeah. And yeah, we can have wine tasting. There are a lot of wine, wine yards. Vineyard. Vine vineyards. Vineyard. Yeah, we can spend a few days here and it's just not like the wedding and then that. places in pictures but in person it's shocking so to give you like a little voiceover tour the chateau was absolutely stunning on the inside it had so many rooms and the decoration was overall very nice and beautiful something that i really loved was the furniture it had the stunning view to the gazebo where we planned to have the ceremony Then going to the rooms, we found the royal suite that was amazing. I mean, I don't think that we could find something prettier than this. And it had so many rooms. I think it could house around 50 people. So I think it's a little bit too much for us, but we were just in wow of every single room that we would enter. It definitely had this feeling that we were inside Downton Abbey. I don't know if you have watched the series, but so far, every room that we went into, we were just shocked and stunned. Every single bathroom was also quite amazing. The wallpaper, the stairs. For sure, my favorite room was the one where you are supposed to get ready, like as the bride. And it's this one. Everything is absolutely beautiful. It was probably my favorite room in the entire chateau. It was definitely the wallpaper for me, but also the views from every single window were amazing. The lake was a little bit smaller, but it still had a lake like we wanted to. And going to the rest of the rooms, the beds were very tall, so definitely you need to have like something to jump into the bed. But you can see that the decoration and every single detail in the rooms is just perfect. now going outside to the gardens it had the front and the back one i actually really like the back one a little bit better it had this very very cute swing with the flowers but we tried walking down the aisle i cannot imagine how this place looks during the spring and summer like if right now it's winter and it's already like this green it's just going to look really really beautiful so we definitely think that it's a little bit big for what we need, but I fell in love with the place. I cannot even say one bad thing about it and it did have little horses, so absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I am floored. Like seeing these places on the internet is like one thing and are completely others like seeing them in person and how impactful they are. I fell in love with the place. We only plan to see the other one. Like for now we don't have more options, but I don't think that we're gonna look any further. Like for me, if the next one that we see, we like it more, we're gonna take this one. And if we don't like it more, we're probably gonna go back to this one because I don't know how we can top it. And it's great because like 50 people can stay with us. They deal with everything. So you 
don't need a wedding planner because the owner of the castle is basically the wedding planner so I'm, I'm just it's so beautiful I am very excited to go into this one because this is the first option that we ever had. This is what we found online that made us want to change from Italy to France and it gives me some sort of like home vibes. It has this massive massive forest so we feel like we can actually make this a little bit more like our own. We're going into it with a very open mind and we understand that right now is winter and it's not gonna look as beautiful and it's going to look in the spring or the summer. So I actually pulled some videos from their website so you can see how it's probably going to look when we're going to have the wedding. The selling point of this place is the massive lake and the big, big gardens. The inside gave me this very home feeling, which the other one was very, very grand. I felt like a five-star hotel, and this one, I don't know what it has, but it just felt very warm and soft in many aspects. The furniture was also so beautiful, and I love the wallpaper. It had its own chapel, so in case we want to use it, we can. And we had our little private tour, which was very interesting. They told us about the history of the chateau and showed us every single room that it has. This is like the formal living room. They told us that it was not ready to be presented, but we wanted to come to see it so this is where we could possibly have the wedding inside in case it rains i really like the decoration and how everything felt very bright and also warm and this would be the suite where we would stay it's actually a whole tower which was so interesting on the first floor we would have like a little place to get ready it has its own living room and many spots where you could see like natural lighting which i honestly really like because it does give you privacy and space to just be by yourself if you want to. You could see that it had the most beautiful ceiling and the decoration and it could fit very well with my vision of what we wanted for the wedding. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread? Every single room had its own theme, so we can actually sleep around 30 people inside here. Every room had its own color and the decoration that would go with each color. So it was a green room, a blue room, a gold room. So it's going to be fun deciding who we're going to put in each one. The hallways were so beautiful, it did give us the old castle vibes that we were looking for. It would have such an attention to detail. The gazebo was just in front of the water. It had its own golf course, tennis courts and pool. And it actually had extra apartments on the back of the chateau, so I think we can house more people than we expected. I cannot wait to see how this place looks during the summer. Good morning, change of plans, well not change of plans, just we finished what we had to do so we decided since it's Sunday that we wanted to go to Disneyland Paris I kind of wanted to go since the year started so we were already quite close so we're just driving there right now and it's gonna be only today, like only one day but I'm really really excited about it and talking about the wedding venues so both of them were beautiful, very very different vibes one of them is a little bit more extravagant so when they presented the idea to us it was like um balloon fireworks um horses entering in a carriage like a little bit over the top and for sure made for like a bigger wedding and we want something a little bit more like um even like a dinner don't think that we want anything like too big it, it's more like a familiar type of event and the second chateau it was owned by a couple like when we arrived they had the tea time set for us and we had a chat and they were like very sweet i don't know it kind of felt like home in some way and the outdoors of the second one were beautiful like 
really really stunning they had such a massive lake they had tennis court they had a pool so if we're gonna have people staying with us for four days we need to have activities we are between extravagant really beautiful downtown abbey vibes or a smaller cozier chateau with activities and like i don't know it was very very different vibes for now i think i would be happy choosing between either of those but at least we know that we found the one either of them will be i like the idea of it being inside of france and it's so close to paris so everyone can fly to paris and then just take the train to angers and like transportation is not that complicated and it was very secluded so no big city no tourists at all it's very private so it's gonna be like a weekend retreat type of thing um i'm really happy and i'm really excited Paula kind of like better the second one because it has more of a casual homey family feeling and i kind of really like the first one but that's just because it was so like i don't know how to explain it i'll let you know which one we choose at the end of the day but right now we're just gonna spend the day at disney i'm really really excited i've been meaning to go since the pandemic started i just i'm a disney person i know that it's a little bit anti-climatic like we went from nice elegant chateaus to disneyland but i hope that you enjoy it
So we're back at the house. I didn't vlog much of the trip back. I was very, very tired. We enjoyed Disney so, so much. I would for sure be down to going again soon. So I wish that there was an easier way to go, but basically the lines were very, very short. Most of them were five to 10 minutes and it was amazing because we went to the hyperspace mountain like three times, parts of the Caribbean like four times, Buzz Lightyear three times. So it's really easy to run around the park because it's also not that big and to go on the rides multiple times. There were only two games that were quite full all the time and I'm talking about like 40 minutes wait. Something that I didn't think about a lot is how cold it was going to be. So basically I wore an outfit that I thought I was gonna be ready to be warm enough during the day but it was so windy that I just couldn't so we went and bought the Minnie Mouse cape which is really really cute. I think that I'm gonna use it when I'm very cold at home or like a pajama thing. Food was surprisingly good. We had dinner at the parts of the Caribbean and I absolutely love the food and the lunch was at the Lucky Nugget. So I know that it was quite weird because the video and the vlog are like for the wedding and it turned out into the Disney thing but honestly I had an amazing time. I'm really happy that we went. I feel like it did like reset like my stress levels and everything so I do feel refreshed. We did bring some stuff for Basha and I bought a coffee mug. Anyway enough of the Disney chat. So about the wedding venues. I I think we found them. I'm not 100% sure. I still haven't decided in any of them. Like the pros and cons between each of them is that the first one, I absolutely love the inside of the chateau. It's stunning, amazing, so well preserved. I'm just a little bit scared that it's way too big for what we need. So it's gonna be quite empty for us. I feel like it's like space wasted in some way, but when you see them on pictures and then you go see them in person, like it's amazing and so like shocking and overwhelming to see like such a beautiful building. I fell absolutely in love with the first one. And the second one, I didn't film as much of it because we were so quick going and see everything. It has a stunning and super big lake with little boats that we can actually row on. It has its own golf course. It has tennis, it has cricket, it has space for horseback riding. It has a pool and it has like a separate building behind the castle that has apartments to put more guests in. But we already think that the chateau itself is big enough. It did give me a very warm feeling, the second one, and I think Polo thinks the same. With the first one, I was like, this is so majestic and beautiful. And with the second one, it felt a little bit like homey and comfortable. So I think it's gonna go down to us sitting down and thinking about the logistics of things. I do think that we're gonna go for one of those options. I don't think that we're gonna keep looking unless something like really goes bad. And then we're gonna go back to planning and looking in Italy. But I'm very happy with with the idea of doing it in the north of France. The scenery is beautiful. We can go wine tasting. There are so many vineyards around there and many people that come for the wedding, they can spend a few days in Paris if they want to have like a nice holiday. And the town was actually very nice. We did make mistakes with the hotel because the hotel was on like the business area of the city. So it was not the nicest. We didn't think about that through very, very well. So we would possibly like to think about a hotel accommodation that is a little bit more beautiful. So we need to sit down, weigh pros and cons between the two options. If we want to lean towards the inside that is definitely bigger, nicer, has more options, or if we want to go for like the big lake and all the activities. And I also kind of really like the second gazebo more. It's right next to the water. There's like little boats because they have a dock. So I don't know. And you kind of walk in the middle of a little forest because it has like a little island and then they have the gazebo. And in the island, they have like small trees. So it was very, very nice. The owners of the second chateau were so, so sweet. I think I'm talking myself onto the second one, but every time that I see the videos of the first one, I'm like, ah, oh, but that one is so, so stunning. So I am conflicted. By the time that I post this video, we will probably have already made the decision. Anyway, I am excited to kind of just decide on this and take a little break and focus on other things because this is like the most urgent part that we needed to get down as soon as possible. I need to unpack a lot of stuff, wash the clothes, and possibly take a very good nap today. We arrived last night and I am so tired and I can bet Polo is way more tired. He drove almost all the way but I can recommend to pretty much anyone if you're looking to travel around Europe. Besides train, car is the most beautiful scenery. It's very easy. Yes, it's long but I honestly hate flying. I hate the entire process of having to go through security. I don't know why. I just don't like flying at all. I prefer taking the car or taking the train. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed 
enjoyed it and that you have an amazing Sunday. Thank you and see you on the next one. Bye!